I think all of us who have points, right? And in, in any, whether it's airplane points or anything else, you know, for every dollar we spend, we get some amount of points back, right? I mean, we earn these points for staying nights. And the point of that is that you can use those points from a buyer perspective as a consumer, you can use those points as basically cash to buy things in the future without actually having to, to pay for it, right? So let's say you've had, you know, 100,000 points. And, you know, when you look on your app, uh, you click, hey, I want to pay with points. And instead of showing you, hey, this thing is, you know, $100 a night, it says, hey, this is 20,000 points a night. And you say, okay, great. And, and different hotels have different point values or, or point costs to stay there. From the, and, and so as a buyer, all you're looking at mostly is, okay, do I want to stay at that hotel? And then how much does it cost the points? How many nights can I stay there with my points? And maybe I pay somewhere between my points and my, you know, card, right? That's the typical buyer consumer journey. From the ownership side, it's a little bit different. Uh, from the ownership side, we basically subsidize that problem, <laughs> not Marriott or Hilton or the brands. So from the owner side, when you pay with points, let's say we normally would sell that hotel for $100 a night. And it's equivalent on your side is 20,000 points. When you pay 20,000 points to book that hotel, I'm not getting $100 for that, for that room. Marriott or, or Hilton or any of the brands are not paying me kind of the, the pro rent, the, the, the similar cost of what it is. It's actually, you get, and there's a, there's a certain percentage and it kind of changes along the way and other things. But basically, let's say we get, I get one fifth of that. So let's say instead of $100 a night, when you pay the points, let's say I'm getting actually $25 a night. However, that mix changes once I hit a certain percentage of occupancy. So let's say I'm getting, let's say I make, you know, 25% of that room night as the owner of the hotel. So for, instead of $100, I'm getting $25 when you spend hotel, um, when you stay at my hotel with uh, paying points. But let's say once I get to, and it differs on the hotels and some other things, but let's say now I get to 85% occupancy. For every room I book above 85% occupancy, I get the full $100. So there's an operational thing that you're going on. You're looking at it for the night and you're thinking, hey, we're at 84%, right? We're at 84%. The next person who walks in now, I get to redeem all those points for, you know, I might charge a little bit less. I might bring our rate down from 6 p.m. to midnight to get some additional walk-ins or people looking at their app real quick. Hey, I'm going to book it. And on, on a small room hotel, on an 82-room hotel, like every room is more than, 10, is more than 1%. Right. So booking even one or two rooms is 4% maybe, you know, or 2%. And so getting an extra three walk-ins might bump you an extra five, 6%. Now you're getting, instead of $25, you're getting the hundred dollars and we're redeeming all the Bonvoy points typically. It's not, it's not just everyone who walks in after that, but it's now, once you hit that threshold, all anyone who's booked with, with those loyalty points is now being redeemed at the higher rate. And so there's kind of a, a, uh, a revenue management and occupancy management on a daily basis that goes on as we think about points and, and things like that. I will say that the, the point system, people ask me this all the time on, hey, can I earn more points doing this or that? That one's also extremely complicated. Um, even Marriott guys have been there for years and years and years. I'm like, do I earn more points doing this? Plus do I, you know, I, I, I book it as a group and then I do a point system and this and that. Um, they do have matrices and we have actually many algorithms running in the background that are calculating some of these things and helping us with it. but. It's um, unfortunately, it's kind of a black box in terms of, um, of even from the consumer side and you know, how, how they earn points and why is sometimes a room is, you know, 75,000 points to stay there instead of 20,000 and some other things. A lot of it actually has to do with that, um, that, that scale and how expensive it is for the brand to honor your points. Because if the occupancy is higher, you may actually see the points are more because the brand knows that they're going to have to pay for all of that hotel's points once they hit above a certain occupancy. So there's, there's some gamesmanship going on. Uh, and how they price those things.